everyone. I got my boxy charm for the month of August. If you're interested in what I got, stay tuned. Now, I don't have the card. I don't know where it is. It must have fell somewhere. Um, I think it was around like 160-ish dollars. But it could be $129. I don't know. All I know is that I got the... I paid 27 I got 27 That's what I'm saying. So the first item I got is this oil right here. This is the box to it. It's hibiscus. And it looks like this one right here. It is really... Like, that's kind of cool. But I'm going to give this one to my mom, so I'm not going to open or anything. And I know she'll like it, so. Like this to my mom. Right there. Next item I got is this one right here. And this is Starry. I can't read that one. Like, the writing it, lately is really hard for me to read. And it could be that I barely have any lights on and um the ring lights all the way up there i can't see anyway but um these are collagen gel pads and uh they're anti-aging anti-wrinkle anti-dark circles so um i'll give them a try i'm not a gel um under eye person I prefer um, one that will actually stay on my face uh, people that try the one that I'm talking about the one I love um, Laura the bargain hunter and Mary Catherine loves cats talked about this a couple times it is the wonder beauty ones they're gold they stay on your face they're perfect I love them I would eventually buy those if they were, you know, more affordable. I would prefer that to that, this. But I don't know if this is going to work, so I can't, like, you know, compare the two yet. Um, let me just open this. It wouldn't be me if I uh, didn't drop something. So, this is what they look like. You get five, five pairs. Okay, they're cute, but I probably won't keep them. Like, I'll probably use one. I really don't like these types. They're really fun looking, though. I don't know. I'm gonna knock I'm not going to knock it until I try it. And they're really pretty. So maybe if I just like lay down and keep them on, they would work. So we'll see. And I definitely will share one with my sister because I do that. My mom, I don't think it, I think it would be wasted because she just won't use it. Sorry, that's it for them. But that's what it looks like when they put them on. Blah, blah, blah. And again, this is a product I've never seen before, so I'm excited. And um, this is the kind of skincare I don't mind getting because I will use it. Next item is this. This is another item that I will use, so I'm not. It's boring, but it's something I'll use. So it's right here, and it is a Dead Sea Mineral Charcoal Makeup Remover Wipes. Um, I haven't tried these yet because I'm not going to open it until I need them, but, do I want to, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to open it. So you can see it. So they're like black. I'm not going to use it because I would just pull it up, take a little piece off to clean this off and I can just do that with a makeup remover I already have. So, but this one does look nice. And then the next item I have is this one right here. 
it is the Pure Lees. Okay, did I just throw that at you? I do apologize. Um, it's the Pure Lees, and it's the Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream SPF 40. Do they not notice that um, I don't want glow? I mean, it says that I'm oily. I don't think they actually look at my thing. And this isn't fair, and that's a little light for me. But I have plenty of other darker, like, you know, foundations and stuff. So I'll just add a little bit to that. I'll show you what this looks like. So. You can just tell the difference on my face. Like, because my face is pink. I don't think it does much. But, um, which is okay because, uh. See, I really just do too much. It probably just makes me oily. It has suntan lotion. It has 40. I will use it for that alone. So, I'm okay. But I will try to mix it in with like maybe a tart darker one that I have because it's a little thicker so it might work better. But um, it's not really my um, favorite item. Are you okay, baby? He's having a bad dream. Beijing. Want me to spray you? It's freaking hot here, by the way. And, um, I'm just going to gripe for a second, or, bitch. Um, Petco never gave my mom an appointment for her dog, her Shih Tzu dog, who is, like, it's so much pain right now, I'm assuming, because his hair. He is furry and uncomfortable because it's hot in California right now. And she was supposed to go on the 10th. They decided, okay, they didn't do this on purpose, to have a power outage so her dog doesn't know when he's going to get his hair done. He is in pain. I mean, okay, dude, he's probably not in pain. But, you know, he's annoyed. He's hot. He can't just take off his shirt. You know what I'm saying? He's a dog. So I've been trying to cut a little by a little with, these scissors but I'm terrified because I gave my sister bangs to hear when she was five okay to hear so I'm terrified to touch any hair like when my mom goes oh just cut my hair a little bit no you don't want me to touch your hair I will destroy it it will be so short you not even coming so short but um, I'm trying to make it a little bit more comfortable for him so cutting a little bit at a time my mom says it will be done in like five years the speed i'm going that's how scary i am this is a palette i got a palette i mean i've been getting palettes okay i'm not gonna lie uh, i think i got that out of what last month i might have got a palette i can't remember Right, and then I got that Lala palette, which I absolutely hated. By the way, I didn't tell you that I hated it. It got um, hard pan like immediately, the orange color, which is the only color I actually liked. I don't know where it is, but it's gonna be decluttered because no one in my family will use it. Like they just won't. But this palette is totally different. I finally got a palette that I am like excited to get, and I was hoping to get. And it's this one right here. I mean, first of all, aren't those cool? I have no idea what's what. <laughs> but Pluto better be in there. You can't get rid of Pluto, dude. You can't. So, this is obviously the safety seal or whatever the heck you guys people. You guys call it different things. You call it color guard or I'm just kidding I have no idea watch too many videos I don't have no idea what people say half the time but they're right here okay and oh they do have names okay I seriously didn't notice so that's Venus then you have the moon then you have Jupiter then you have 
10 or I, I don't know. Callisto. Okay, these are just gibberish names now. I have no idea how to say that, half of these. Earth. I've never heard of that word. Mercury, what? Mars, eh. And then all the rest I really can't pronounce. Um, let me just swatch a few for you. So I'm going to do the Venus one. And look at the pattern. Isn't that pretty? So this is Venus. Okay. And I'll show you them after. And let's do Jupiter because... Because I like that gold. Um, Earth because, again, who that be? Um, this one right here. is the only one that's like kind is like a glitter topper i'm assuming this is a glitter topper like look at that bling okay and then i'll do the black one i think it's black it might be like a dark brownish purple then we'll do the purple and then we'll do the red because i've Definitely. I, I only wish that was a little bigger because I'm definitely going to, you know, use that one up. Okay. Okay. Can you even see this? I do not know how to swatch. Don't know how to swatch. <laughs> but anyway, those are the swatches. Um, I definitely love uh, that red. That is so pretty. These two plummy colors are very pretty. Definitely for your, you know, darkening up the whatever people say. I think they say around this area. Um, the golds are just beautiful and they would be perfect mixed with any palette or any matte shade. I don't care. If you feel gold, you get gold. I was actually hoping for a gold vibe because there's so many gold, you know, yellow planets and stuff. So I think it's really cool. I wish um, that one didn't break so easily. So I don't wanna, I wanna actually use it a few times before it breaks. But I definitely like these two colors right here, the golds. That one's pretty, too. Oh, I didn't show you that one, actually. That one's, this one's actually kind of cool. It has, like, little, if you can see it, it has, like, little dots and stuff. But it makes such a beautiful, like, rose gold. That shade right there. Like, yes, I could totally see myself wearing that color. So this is definitely a yes, swatch-wise. And um, I will have to play around with this and give you my opinions, you know, some other time. But I don't think I'm going to be using this one this month, but maybe next. Definitely for Christmas, I think these golds would be perfect for the holidays. And I just love this palette. I mean, come on. This is just, the packaging is pretty. Um, I know some people got Laura Geller one and stuff. But I would prefer this one hands down. Um, the colors are more my thing. Um, there's a mirror if you want to use a mirror. If you don't, that's cool. But it's just, I think it's just, it's just really pretty. And it looks like a book. So, I love this. I think, all in all, I really loved everything except for, mm, I actually liked everything. I would give it five stars. Because even if some of them are low fives, they're still fives. I mean, the oil will go to my mom. I will use the makeup pads. Um, the iPads somebody will use my family 
this I can use with something else. And that palette, I definitely be rocking, so. It gave me a little bit of hope for um, eyeshadow looks. And I can't wait to actually see people use this palette and see what they come up with. So I have some better ideas. But um, definitely this is the star of the show for me. Everything else is kind of boring but practical. I mean, I'll use everything. And um, now my mom has an oil. So, yes. Not a bad month, and uh, it came pretty early. It came um, on the 11th. It was supposed to be here the 12th. It came a day early, so that's cool. Again, that's what I got in my boxy charm for August. Have a good day. Stay safe, and um, tell someone you love them. Bye.